Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions we have seen the basic introduction to JavaScript and also we have seen where we have to write the JavaScript in our HTML content. And now we will see in this session we will see the how to generate the output in JavaScript. So what are the different functions or statements available to generate the output, right? So output in JS. JS is nothing but a JavaScript, right? So output. The first one is inner HTML. So inner HTML is used to write the content on the HTML based upon the ID. So based on ID, the text or the content will be displayed on web page so so whatever the id so this id is written by using get element by id followed by here we have to give the id right so this already we have seen in the uh, in the beginning session right so by based upon the id first we have to retrieve the element for this particular id and we can write the content in that particular id okay so for that purpose we'll go with this inner html okay so don't worry i will execute a small uh, code uh, demonstrating all these things and the second one is a document dot write document dot write function so here we have we can give the text whatever the text we are writing here that will be printed on the web page directly so that means we need not go with the id okay so id is not required id is not required and directly the content will be displayed on the web page directly so whatever the thing we are writing in between the uh, double quotes that content will be displayed directly on the web page that is a document dot write and the next one is window dot alert and again we can write some text here right so window dot alert means some alert box will be displayed and the content will be displayed on the alert box okay the content will be displayed on the alert box so alert box will be appeared with a given text Okay, alert box will be appeared with the given text. So whatever the text we are writing, that will be displayed on the alert box. Okay, so I, I will show you the execution. So then you will be understanding perfectly. And the next one is console dot log, and here also we can write the text. So this will be displayed for the debugging purpose. So directly it will not be displayed on the screen. And in order to display the text, we have to press F12 in the keyboard, press F12 in the keyboard and go to the console field. So at the top, you can find the console. There you can find the output. There you can find the output. So this is purpose of debugging. So in order for the debugging purpose, we can write this function console.log of text. So basically we will go with these three concepts so in the further sessions we'll see so in order to display the output we'll see one among these three so if you want to uh, print the data based upon the id so we'll go with the inner html if you want to directly print the output on the web page we'll go with the document.write and if you want to give the alert some alert so then we'll go with the window.alert so these are all the different outputs and one more function is there that is called a print function print function sorry there is a direct function that is a print function which will 
give a print option to our web page i mean the content on the web page that will be directly redirected towards the printer okay if, the, if there is no printer automatically it will be redirected to save as a pdf so so this is a function we can implement to directly print the content of the web page okay i will show all these things i will show you by executing a small html code right so direct print function will give the print option it will be available to print option uh, the complete content of the web page right so let us move on to the computer and we will see the demonstration of each and every output statement or a function right in our html document.write window.lr console.log as well as the print as well as the print function right so let us move on to the computer Hello friends, so just now we have seen uh, the different uh, ways to print the output in JavaScript. So now we will see the demonstration of all those things. So coming to the first one that is the inner HTML. So in the previous sessions we have already seen about this inner HTML. So based upon the ID of the element or tag, we, we are just changing the content in the HTML. So we will go with the HTML page and now uh, go with the body and here write down h1 is equal to sorry h1 id is equal to uh, give some abc id abc okay i am just go giving h1 it's an empty right now i will create some button type is equal to button and here on click after clicking this button what should be done so document dot get element by id of give that uh, id here so dot inner html is equal to so give the content okay demonstration of inner html right so right on click me button right now close the body tag close the html save this file i will save it as output.html so let us open that file so here it is the desktop which is javascript we are having some output html so double click that one so that the uh, HTML code will be executed see you can observe it here click me by clicking this one we will have to get this output right so yeah just a second Can observe here so demonstration of inner html so make sure about this uh, quotations if you use double quotations inside we have to use a single quotation so here outside i have given some single quotation so here we are using some double quotation right so so this is a inner html so inner html is also used to display the content on the web page but based upon the id so here compulsory we have to give the id itself right and one more thing the second one the second one let us give the break row second one that is by using the document dot write so script so document dot write function inside the write function we can pass anything so welcome to or uh, simply use this one demonstration of write function okay so this we have done and close the script as we have discussed in the previous session script can be written in both the head or body right if you execute this one you can observe here right so if you execute this one see first a click me is there and demonstration of write function demonstration of write function this 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 was written in document dot write document dot write that is written in script this is one way okay this is one way and also 
<coughs> we can give the output by using the alert messages. So we can get the alert box, the prompt box. So by using that, uh, uh, with the help of a window dot alert, we can display the message on the web page. So let, let us check. Window dot alert welcome to javascript right now you can observe here if you execute this one directly we'll get this page alert box okay you can observe here alert box welcome to javascript if you press ok then the remaining code will be executed so alert box will be getting right or else you can simply use the same thing okay we can also uh, combine we can uh, create one button and after clicking on that we can get we can execute this window dot alert option we can write this in some function and we can write okay so these are the different ways we can display the function so one is uh, by using the inner html otherwise the second one is a write document dot write and the third one is window dot alert and there is a one more thing uh, that is a console console dot log so by using the console dot log we can also display the output so this this will be used for debugging purpose this is used for debugging purpose so if you execute this code you you cannot observe the difference but in order to see this console dot log you have to press f12 okay f12 if you press f12 the debugging control will be there so here you can observe the output debugging purpose here you can observe the output in the console okay in the console field we will get the output here right so these are the different ways how can, how we can uh, display the output in javascript and also if you want to print the complete page if you want to print the complete page simply there is a function called print function there is a function called a print function see i will i will show you so here instead of using all these content go with the print function print function so that this will print the complete content of the page see if you print this one the complete content of the page will be printed so this is how we can use the print also okay we can also print so it directly redirects to the printer so it will print the complete content of the page so here uh, i am not having any printer so it is asking about uh, save as pdf right right so these are the ways we can give the output in the javascript one is the inner inner html that is based upon the id second one is a write document dot write third one is a alert it will give the alert box next one console dot log that is for debugging purpose so for this for executing this one we have to press the f12 in our keyboard so that in the console uh, um, I mean in the console field we will get the output and then uh, there is a function called a print function which will print the complete content of the web page right yeah so uh, if you are having any doubts regarding these output functions or a statements feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much